Introducing to you first the challenger on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with gold trim, hailing from Berlin, Germany. He weighed in at 90.2 kilograms or 198 and three quarter U.S. pounds. Marco. Silver trim, hailing from Kiev, Ukraine. His weight 90.5 kilograms or 199 and one half US pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with a record of 12 wins, no losses, 10 wins coming by way of knockout. He is ranked the number one seed in the World Boxing Super Series, and tonight he is making the third defense of his world title. Ladies and gentlemen, professional manner and this fight be clean. Mr. Usyk, Mr. Hoop, gentlemen, let's do this. So the two men staring fixedly at one another during no fights away from the opening bout of the World Boxing Superhero World Champion, Marco. So here we go then. During his long hooks, touching up tightly with a hard left hand to the body did get. Such a twinkle toe individual for a man who possesses such a great man to invest early on in body shots. And off of it. Lesser regarded IBO crown. Corner team were up on the ring edge. The Usyk scored with a good left hand to the body. Point forward, but it's a two-phase attack. Trying to wail away to the body. Good right jab in evidence. Ground. Both men showing flashes of the tactic. Far less activity. Again, Ronald telegraphing that right hand. Couldn't find the range. Ronald Zander used to get down to his, and he's elected to stand in. Oh, but he's a brand new guest. Now he's still in the deep story. It's going to be too hard. It's going to be too hard. Some of the action from that opening round. This is where the back touched the strand. Hook began to wail away with the free right hand. Well, but it's a pretty impressive bunch of medalists and champions in this difficult pound for pound list. Had the trailblazers of Usyk scores with a good length to increase the territory on which Fowler Adams and Katie Taylor already making their mark in the pros as well. And of course, he's after that terrific contest against Vladimir Klitschko earlier this year. But making that one fall short, that's a rather clean, ponderous look at that. Christoph Vladicci on the floor. This is Christoph Blavatsky on the floor for the first time in his career. The second time really heavily. And he works away with that right hand to the front. Usyk grins his gun shield contemptuously. Gets his boxing stance beneath him. Marches his man back towards the road. Begins to score with an effective south corner. Action heating up here. In this round as the decibel level rises here. The fans up on their feet. Looking of action towards the concluding stage. So Usyk concentrated, trying to pin hook to the road, City and instincts to get himself out of that place of confinement, but went right back to the road, causing him to try to initiate that clinch. But Usyk able to score both down in the inaugural World Boxing Super Series. What these boxers are working towards in this but not a round robin, as we've seen in previous tournaments, the Super 6 most notably. The equation is quite simple. Scored with a good left hand, just a few left hands to right hand, wasn't too far away from him, and he comes forward. To be back with. Constant instruction from the right, from my right here at ringside. It's the world title contest, so he knows what he needs to do up there in the boxing ring, but the reminders of the third round. And again, Usyk continuing to move wonderfully. Usyk. Continuing to contract and expand the ring as he was making his presence felt when the two men came together at the press conference. As Usyk gets back onto the front foot, coming forward with a single phase attack, but short to the mark, and now begins to bring up a press through the middle. Made on top of such impressive fashion. And Christoph, the two Titan defenses have come on the road in the USA. And here he is. Having here has been counted immediately. You can see his energy levels remaining very good indeed, continuing to work over when it does that punch. It was blocked easily. That's a wonderful left hand to the body from Usyk. Back comes up with a right hand of his own, got his attention, but he's back in the space of the ring now. And what a long right hand shield in that maniacal green that he possesses. That hard left hand and upstairs and upstairs from Alexander Usyk. What a left hand! Every time Hook enjoys a little bit of success, it all comes. 
world championship level. So made to be a little bit uncomfortable. Bleib konzentriert, nicht nachlassen. Hast du die Fourth round. Racking left hand. And that preceded a fast middle. Hooks around the corner. Look at that for a counter left. Right onto the draw. The Olympic gold board mentioned, of course, that his second Olympic tournament. But again, look at that for a spear in right hand. Good right hand lands from Hood. In exaggerated fashion, and then got immediately back the first quarter final of the World Boxing Super Series. The idea of the concept, and that is why this is and scores with some straight punch. Back comes Usyk once again. Hook bobbing and weaving to intervene. But in fairness, Robert Bird hasn't had much to do in this contest. He's being fought at a terrific point. On the back foot to end in that fifth stanza. Some of the action from round number five. Marco, the time. But that was a cracking right hand, but look at that. Big chicken leg down from Alexander Rusev before the full combination. Okay. And the pressure. In that fifth round, Unzor is breathing, he's pivoting off. Legs still look a little bit weary to me as he runs into a jolting right jab, working his way inside. In the neutral corners, the deeper we go into this contest, looking to launch his counter. Here's the lead left hook followed by a right hand. Of round number six. Hook, plodding forward, he walks hook back towards the ropes, and there's an exchange on the bell. And Alexander Rusev is in. Okay. 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 He may have taken a break in the first half of round six. And, behind, and Hook now almost following his hand, bobbing and weaving in front of his man. The right hand from Hook, he walks his man down once more. Looking for opening with fellow light shots. Pecking and poking with that right hook. Here's the same shot once again. But now here comes Alexander Rusev. Unloading heavy leather. Hook covering up, trying to put on a significant pressure. And there's the bell on legs that didn't appear to be again in that seventh stanza from this man. But I just get the sense that his forward for Ray's becoming a little less effective now. Landing a solid right hand. Rusev just completely disregarded it and came back with his own salvo that was far more effective. Side than the Abdul Hamid Ali trophy. And Usyk again gets on as he drops his elbows. And then he gets tagged by a straight left hand straight through the guard. Here's the same shot. In the event that the contest is a draw, a fourth judge, as has happened in previous big fights, through the cracking right hook. Just caught him. Hook to mouth wide open. That's a counter right hook though from the KG veteran, Captain Usyk. And his success is more suspension coming from Alexander Usyk. Left hand success. And then a snake in underhand. Professional contest to a distance. Before that, it was 9 Usyk. 
record many of the punches in that combination around the corner, uppercut through the middle, and it wouldn't have a late stoppage. For Pajuni, former champion, Fulton Anderson, sustained pressure here, he comes back with a good stage, then working the body, hook, bobbing and weaving once again off the ropes, but then he tosses across the boxing ring to take up residence on the ropes on the far side of the ring. Neil yeah. trying to hold on, but he's he's only covering up, bobbing and weaving. That left hand to the body caused him to wilt. Again, he's trying to lay out of the corner, uppercut ripping through the middle. Robert Byrne poor, he's got hook. All of his strength being put to the test. Usyk working away furiously. Shots underneath. Robert has stepped in and has waved it off. In the top of this contest, Alexander Usyk of his WBO title. Defiant former champion. Stopped in the tenth round since his last here tonight. He stopped for the third time in his career. And still the undefeated. Alexander Usyk raises the Ukrainian flag aloft along with both of his arms. That WBO strap remains proudly around.